put the magazine in forward, works better that way. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Junk Food Zombie channel. Please bear with any of the traffic noise you hear in the background. As always, this range is right next to an interstate and there's nothing I can do to control the traffic. So I'll just try to speak up for you. So what do I have for you today? I am going to be testing a muzzle device by VG6 called the Epsilon Brake. Now, technically it's a combination device. It's a muzzle brake, compensator, flash hider, kind of all in one deal. And we'll be using this Galil Ace in 5.56 which comes with a standard A2 flash hider, which is typically what you would find on an AR-15. Uh, now this weapon is a little heavier uh, than your typical AR, so it does a pretty good job of mitigating recoil, even though it is an AK at heart and it is a little overgassed. There's still very little recoil out of this and not much muzzle rise, but I did want to try something out and, and see how it would do, see if I get this thing shooting real flat and real fast. Um, that being said, for those of you who know me and have seen my uh, review on the Meridian Defense Corp BD2 5.56 break. You're probably asking why I didn't just get one of those since I loved it and it was so good. Well, the honest answer is they don't have any right now. I spoke to the guy at NBC and they don't have any right now. There are some things they're concentrating on and they don't know how long it's going to be before they have any more of those in the market. So I said, eh, let me find something similar and try it out. So what I got, I'll show it to you. And if I'm keeping the camera in the shade to keep it from overheating because it's really hot today. You know, being in the beginning of October is almost 90 degrees. Um, so if I have to, I'll overlay some pictures here. This is the, the brake, Epsilon by VG6. That's the bottom of the brake. This is the top of the brake. You see the compensation ports, your muzzle brake, you got two chambers, and then you have these three flash hiding tines on the end. Uh, I don't know how effective they are, but we shall see. Um, the reason I got this one is it looks very similar to their to the Meridian Defense Corp BD2 that I like so much. Now, VG6 does make a brake called the Gamma, and it's essentially this brake without the tines on it. It looks extremely similar to the BD2. Uh, the only thing is with that brake, I did notice is sometimes the compensation is, is too much, and it actually dips the muzzle. And on top of that is a lot of flash out the sides of that muzzle brake, like really big flash. So I thought maybe this might help mitigate it. I got an awesome price. I found this for $50. They normally sell for about $65. It's very nicely made. I believe it's stainless steel. Uh, it's nicely finished. It's a very nice brake. Uh, I'd say on par with the Meridian Defense Corp brake as far as, you know, the fit and finish and the, the quality and everything. And at a comparable price. So I'm very happy with this. Like I said, I'll overlay some pictures here if uh, you couldn't focus on this where it's a little dark. So what we're gonna do is the same thing we did on the other muzzle brake videos. I'm gonna take five slow fire shots with each device so you can see how much the muzzle moves rearward, how much it lifts uh, slowly just so you can compare them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rapid fire shots which is uh, two, two and a half inch circle at 10 yards, keeping the target small, so I need to bring it back to a more precise point. And I will take five rounds, and I will only take my follow-up shots as soon as the dot gets back on that target. So 30 feet, two, two and a half inch circle. Uh, I'm gonna compare how quickly I can get back on target with that muzzle brake, if any faster than the A2. The A2 does have some compensation um, built into the way it's uh, designed. So. Let's go do some shooting. We'll see how that works. And then later on when it gets dark out, we'll take some more shots and we'll see how it does with muzzle flash compared to the A2. Okay, so here are the five slow fire shots to track muzzle movement on this A2 birdcage flash hider. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have the VG6 Epsilon on here. We're gonna compare it subjectively and objectively with the film as far as how much recoil I'm feeling and how much muzzle rise I'm getting. As far as the muzzle flash or flash suppression, we'll uh, see if we can't get some footage at night for that. So here are my slow fire shots. I hardly feel anything. It's very, very little movement on that dot. Definitely less than the A2 for sure. So it's a pretty significant difference inside the uh, inside the optic. Okay, so now we're gonna take our five more rapid fire shots with the A2 birdcage and see how quickly I can get back on target. When I take the shot, I won't take any follow-up shots until I get the dot back on target. Put the magazine in forward, works better that way. Okay, what I'm getting is a little bit of a little bit of a rise, I guess partially from it just coming up a little bit and partially from me moving back just a tiny bit with the recoil. Um, we'll compare it in the footage because I can only tell you subjectively what I'm feeling. But we'll look at the footage and we'll make some comparison. Okay, so now we're gonna take our rapid fire shots, taking follow-up shots only as fast as I can get the dot back on target. I definitely, definitely felt better with that. You can get those shots in there quicker. Um, it does move around a little bit. Sometimes I feel almost like it moves down a tiny bit, um, but that could be me. But I was able to get everything back on there really quick. It, it moved far less off of the target than, uh, than the, the A2. Um, if I didn't mention, I'm shooting at a two inch yellow circle at 10 yards. So. 30 feet it's about this big maybe two two and a half inches so subjectively it feels really good all right guys it's getting dark out i've got the a2 flash hider on here we're going to throw five rounds down range with this then i'm going to change to the epsilon break and then we're going to try that with five rounds and see what kind of differences in flash signature we get with that now that is a, a break it incorporates a flash hiding element but it's not a dedicated flash hider so i'm assuming that this is going to do a better job uh, reducing flash um, we all, we're all familiar with how good a job the A2 does at that. So I'm going to get this thing loaded up and get going because it's getting dark and i got to get it done fast. We're going to take one shot with no muzzle device. Okay, now we're going to get the A2 on there. Okay, A2 flash hider, five rounds in the dark. Go get the other brake on. We got five rounds with the Epsilon brake. In the dark. All right guys, so we're back. I have the Ace here with the VG6 Epsilon and the footage should have told you pretty much everything you wanted to know. I just want to give you a quick synopsis of my thoughts, what I saw, what I felt, and give you a subjective view on, on all that. I'm going to go over the three aspects of this muzzle device individually and uh, as briefly as was possible for me. So as a muzzle brake, uh, you could see it does a great job. And you can see by my reaction when I shot it for the first time, it does a great job. I mean, it hardly moves backwards at all. It, you feel almost nothing. And like I've mentioned before, a 5.56 doesn't have much recoil to begin with, but this near eliminated it. I was actually really impressed and really surprised with how good a job it did of that. Um, so as a muzzle brake, it did great. As far as your concussion, your side blast, it's really not that bad. It's no worse than most anything else in this category I've seen and better than quite a few others that I've shot. So I think in that regard, if you're familiar with muzzle brakes, you know what to expect. 
I think you'd be you'd be pleasantly surprised with how this one performs as far as that's concerned. It, it's really not that bad. Um, now they do make something called the cage device that slips around this, um, and it kind of puts like a metal screen across the uh, the chambers here, and it's supposed to give you some effect that the muzzle brake would give you without as much concussion and blast of the size, which is really good if you're going to go to a range where you're at like benches and stuff and you're in a line and there are people next to you and you don't want to remove your muzzle device. It kind of cuts down on that for the people next to you as, as a courtesy. Um, so that's pretty cool. If I get one of those, which I'm planning on doing, I'll do a little video review of that as well. But that's another video for another time. Okay, as far as a compensator, you can see in the video, um, just by the muzzle movement or the lack thereof and my reaction and my follow-up shots and how quick they were, that as a compensator, it does a great job. The muzzle stayed super flat to the point where it almost... I, I almost thought it felt like it was pushing down a little bit. If that if it's the muzzle device and not me, it's so negligible that it's really hard to notice. Um, I just figured, I'd, just like I said, I'm just giving you my thoughts. Uh, it kept it super flat, did a great job at compensating. So I think in that regard, great. It works awesome. As far as a flash hider, um, I think it does a pretty good job for what it's intended to do. It's not intended as a dedicated flash hider. You're going to look at it, you know, like look at the A2 next to the Epsilon and say, well, no, it doesn't do as good a job at mitigating flash as that A2. But the A2 is a flash hider. This is a muzzle brake compensator flash hider. So it, you're only going to get so much of that ability in this. But I think for what it is, if you take the one shot I did with no muzzle device compared to the Epsilon, you'll see that it does a pretty good job of knocking it down. Now... I'm going to say that compared to my BD2 556 from Meridian Defense Corp, it seemed like it had a little more uh, orange coming out the sides. It was a little brighter. However, I mean, the le how dark it was out the night that I shot them comparatively versus how the camera was acting versus the ammunition I was using all play a factor. I think they're close enough to say that they perform very similarly. Um, so... That's good. I think it does a pretty good job. It does about what you'd expect it to do. If you need more flash mitigation than that, you want to go with a flash hider, like two or three or four prong, you know, flash hider, and just kind of deal with a little bit of recoil and muzzle rise you're going to get with that, which is not a big deal. It's just do what suits your needs. But for what it's meant to do, I think it does a good job. So overall, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think the price is right. It's about 65 bucks is what you'd normally pay for it. Um, I can't remember where I got it. I paid 50, but I only found one site with it at that price. So I got lucky. Uh, 65 is about what you should expect to pay uh, looking around for it. And that's a great price. The finish, uh, it, it's machined nicely. It's finished nicely. I think they did a really nice job making it. It's a, it seems to be a, a good quality muzzle device at uh, you know, a little more than half or half the price of a lot of comparable devices that don't do any better. I've seen videos on muzzle devices, combination devices like this that are $95, $100, $120 or more, and they don't do any better a job that I've seen. So at least not in video. I haven't shot them all, but as far as what I've seen in videos comparing to what I've got footage-wise, they don't do any better. So, man, value for the money, uh, its performance you know, regardless of what you spend on it, I think it performs very well compared to anything else on the market and the price is right. So if you guys, uh, if you guys had any questions, feel free to leave them below. I hope that helped you out. If you were interested in this and you had any, you know, you, you weren't sure about it. I wanted to give you a little bit of an in-depth review to give you as much information as I could. But if I forgot anything, you have any comments or whatever, any constructive criticism, go ahead, leave a comment below. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you, and I do a pretty good job of doing that. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead. You can do that too, and I'll see you on my next video, which is going to be a little bit of a, a history story time thing. It'll be a little bit different for me, but I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, if I don't see you in a video before the holidays, I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, whatever holiday, I hope you have an awesome holiday and you get to spend some time with your family and your friends, and I hope you have a great new year, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it.
I can make this really short. Is this thing good? Yeah, it rocks. Buy one. See you later. That would be an easy way to that would be an easy way to do it. <laughs>